name is uh, Matt Reed. Um, I'm from Halifax. I've uh, lived here uh, most of my life, and uh, I've played music for uh, between uh, 10 and 20 years in uh, a lot of uh, different bands. I think the one of the first shows I remember going to was in the Dow Student Union Building in the Green Room. Uh, I think they called it the pit because there, there was a little uh, sort of recessed area. And I remember seeing uh, Hip Club Groove and uh, uh, Purple Groove Monsters. They had an electric violin. I was really into that. Um, there were shows in weird uh, spots that later became venues. The um, uh, building that recently had, uh, held Tribeca and prior to that. Cafe Mocha, there was a video shoot there for a Hardship Post, and I remember going to that. Also, weird one-off uh, places I don't really remember going into once. There's a place on Godgen Street I remember going to, going to a gig. Don't even remember if these places had names, just to sort of find out from people what, uh, oh, there's a, there's a show here. I remember Cafe Mocha being pretty... Pretty cool. I, I remember when it was a cafe up where Steve Arenas is, and then I, I don't think it was a music venue at the time, but then when it, when it, when it moved uh, down a few blocks, that was pretty great. That was the first place I saw uh, Piggy play, and uh, it was the middle of the summer, and they were doing a, a um, sort of winter theme. They were like pretending that it was really cold, and they had fans with paper uh, snow, and uh, that was pretty exciting. And, uh, and uh, later on, I got to uh, I got to join that band and play uh, a number of uh, crazy venues as well. Um, but yeah, I remember that place just being a really nice. Uh, like there was the cafe downstairs, and there was uh, pretty nice food. And then um, often I would hang hang out there, even if there was a show going on upstairs. I totally missed out on the uh, uh, the first phase of the Super Friends when they were a cover band, but I remember them playing upstairs, and I was just first venue I played was uh, just up the road, it was the North Street Church, it was the Halifax Experimental Music Festival, and, um, and uh, yeah, that was uh, pretty, I guess I, I didn't think of it as an official rock show, because it was, you know, a, a, a sort of a different thing, but uh, I've since gone and enjoyed lots of different, uh, lots of different uh, shows there, I was even at a, a wedding reception there. Um, and uh, yeah, and then uh, and then I think I would I would go on uh, after that. Uh, the Kyber, uh, I think I've played on every floor of the Kyber. The top floor, the turret room, um, was a pretty uh, pretty pretty nice uh, layout. And then that later became um, uh, studios. Um, we played in the downstairs in the, in the bar uh, quite a lot and. Probably did one or two things in the um, uh, the, the middle floor, which it seems to be where the, the bulk of uh, shows are are happening uh, today. Uh, seems to be a resurgence. Uh, I, I went to Nascad for two years. The first show I saw there was uh, uh, Fresh Hermit, who I'd previously seen in, in various uh, high school auditoriums when I was uh, underage, and uh, this was uh, the height of their uh, of their um, learn to party rock and roll uh, phase. They had the giant neon rock and roll sign. Uh, Ian McGettigan did the did the trick with the fire breathing and um, soaking up jagged were on that bill and the chin straps. Uh, there was someone who I've later become friends with who was selling popsicles, homemade uh, whimsicles they were called, just basically frozen fruit on a stick and and uh, yeah. No, Nothing could really top that. Every uh, par uh, every party that uh, I would later play in the Nascad Lounge kind of uh, couldn't quite uh, match up to that. But I did play uh, a lot of Nascad dances. One World One World Cafe was uh, really nice uh, as a sort of a low, just low low stress um, uh, venue. Um, saw a lot of. Uh, a lot of different uh, things, things there. Um, some quieter shows, but, you know, some less, less so. And um, I think my favorite uh, shows to play were the, uh, I don't know, just 
just the ones that were easiest to book. I don't know where I just kind of figured out, figured out who to ask and, you know, did it once and couldn't do it again. Um, but uh, that, that, was, that was a pretty, uh, that was a pretty good spot. There's been times where they've disappeared. Or there's only been, I feel, I used to play the marquee a lot and it, I, although this is not true in my memory, it, it felt like there was a period around 2000, 99, 2001, somewhere in there where it seemed like that was the only the venue except maybe the uh, uh, the attic and the uh, and the seahorse, and it felt like uh, it felt like there weren't as many uh, uh, rock bands at, at the time. There was like Jimmy Swift and some other some other jam bands and lots of DJs. All I remember is like techno for like a, a few years. And, and uh, actually, you know, you know, a, a real jam. I'm, jumping ahead here, but uh, uh, North End Pub had a really nice, I know that uh, Gus's seems to be the uh, sort of vanguard of, of uh, indie rock bars now, but um, North End Pub, you know, similar neighborhood, so it's, you know, clo you know, close to where a lot of people live, but um, much bigger, nicer layout, good view, and uh, really, uh, there's a really kind of friendly uh, atmosphere there. It was a really fun uh, karaoke night on Saturdays there that uh, had a lot of heart, and uh, that's actually a place I, I, I really miss as like a as a potential rock venue uh, that I think would be uh, really good to have around because uh, you know it's it's a shame to only have lim limited limited spots. There was a show around the corner. A friend of mine lived on uh, what, what is now the Robert Street uh, Social Center, and uh, they had a party where bands playing on the roof. I was actually supposed to play that show. I had an unrelated concussion. I hit a pop wall on my bike and I, I, I missed out on that show. But I was there for sound check. So, um, and uh, basement shows uh, on Bloomfield Street. Um, and uh, yeah, there's always, 